Is there a problem in your life that you've been dealing with for what appears to be about a thousand years and you just can't find a solution to that problem? Well, today we are going to talk about exactly how you can overcome any and every problem. Listen in. Let's go. Welcome to Life Mastery for Women. I'm your host, Jen Mack, Lady of the Mind. Join me here three times a week for empowering conversations, powerful tools and techniques to help you experience more joy, healing, and deeper connections in your life. Feel free to join my online Facebook communities, Chakras for Beginners or Lady Rising, where you can share your experience and ask your questions. If you're interested in joining a live and in-person community of women who connect, heal, and create a life that is full of joy, inspiration, and empowerment, then please send me an email to the meditation room tc at gmail.com subject line let's talk get ready ladies it's time to get that nugget of inspiration towards your transformation life is hard but your personal growth doesn't have to be hey ladies it's jen mack lady of the mind welcome to today's episode where i hope i'm finding you overcoming your problems with ease. If you're not overcoming your problems with ease, and it is my intention that in today's episode, I give you just one nugget of inspiration towards your transformation. So I ask you in here, how many of you have problems? Everybody raises their hand. How many of you have been dealing with that problem for what appears to be about a thousand years? Everybody raises your hand. And I say, how many of you know that meditation is going to help you overcome that problem? And everybody raises their their hand. Now, I'm not going to talk about meditation because I know I can hear the groaning from there. Isn't that funny? I think about meditation and I remember what I thought about it years ago. And I think meditation is like that. That can't be the solution to this physical world that that can't be it. And I go, you know, what's awesome is that that is it. And you know why it's awesome? Because I am so tired of trying to control the environment around me. I'm tired of trying to control the people and trying to make things happen and try to force things to happen. Go stand at a river's edge. Go stand at a river's edge and try to get it and force it to flow in a different direction. Try to get it to flow upstream. Do whatever you can. Eventually, you're going to be kicking and screaming, trying to get the river to flow the other direction. And I go, why not go with the flow? (laughs) Why not go in the river on a tube or a kayak and just get in it and just go with the flow? You know, my mom, uh, she's a yard sale. She's a treasure hunter yard sailor, big time. And I just love it about her. And I love going to yard sales because I I just find it to be really fun to like seek out some really cool treasures, right? And she found this blow up alligator. We call him Al. And he's a blow up alligator. You probably get two, two ish people on there before it really starts to sink. But it's huge. You know, it's six feet long and, you know, it's a big alligator. And we take it, uh, we haven't taken it down to the river yet. We take it to the lake all the time and we play on it and, and snorkel off of it and flip each other over and do all this kind of fun stuff. And I think, what would it be like to ride L in the river upstream? You know how big my arms would be, like trying to paddle upstream? And you know how fatiguing that is? Well, are you in a point in your life? where life is just getting tiring, where you're just tired. Well, when you ever say that to yourself, when you're dealing with a problem, and it's the same stinking problem that you've been dealing with for a thousand years, and if you say to yourself that you're tired, I want to ask you, ask you to ask yourself, am I swimming upstream? And most likely the answer is yes, you're swimming upstream. And it's frustrating, I get it. You know, because we're so used to wanting to control the environment around us. I totally get it. It's very frustrating. I've done it. Sometimes I still do it. I forget that I, you know, I don't, that I forget that I have this spiritual power inside and I want to just keep going and keep doing things every day to just overcome this problem. So let's talk about overcoming the problem. First of all, I want you to see a grid in front of you, like a thermostat kind of a grid, and see the numbers from zero to 10, okay? And then I want to see your problem. Put your problem in some big gooky measuring thing right there at number four. And then I want you to see yourself on number three, okay? So just kind of picture yourself, kind of a thermometer, you know, when people are raising money, one of those big thermometers, I want you just to see yourself there on this thermometer the problem is above you. And what you're trying to do when you have a problem is you're trying to solve the problem when it's above you. What I'm going to ask you to do is something a little bit different. 
There's so many ways to tackle a problem, but I want to help you to tackle the problem in the right way. Do you notice that when you when something comes up, a challenge, some out of the, you know, you have a problem with your kids, your spouse at work, the boss, whatever, and you see that problem, you're upset by that problem. So the first thing you do is you start to create the story around the problem. My boss is such a blah, 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 and I can't believe he did this and this, and you go on and on, and you tell the story. So you're feeding the problem right there. So now that problem on the scale is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now it's a big, giant, looming cloud over top of you because you're underneath the problem, right? And then typically right around there, you start to want to solve the problem. You try to find solutions for this looming cloud that's above you. You're trying to solve it from there. Well, here's the thing. When you're at that level, you can't see solutions from there. You can't see solutions by being underneath the problem. So what is the, what is the solution? The solution is not to solve the problem from there. As Einstein says, you cannot solve the problem from the same frequency or the same energy from which it was created. If I'm a three on this vibrational scale, if I'm a three, I am going to continue to create problems that are related to the frequency of a three. So what I want to do is even though I'm starting to feed it, this is what Amy and I do. And she goes, okay, listen, listen, we tell this to each other. We have to stop because we can't solve the problem from here. We have to go up. So now we go inward. So first thing you have to do is settle down from the emotion and you have to rise above. When you rise above, that's when you can solve the problem. That's when you find the solutions. That's when you get the perspective. Here's an analogy. I've used this one a couple of times and I love it. I think it's funny. So picture an anthill and there's an ant and he's hungry and you're staring over top of the, this anthill and you see about six inches away, there's a giant breadcrumb that could probably feed his entire family. And, but there's all this grass and little twigs and little tiny plants and flowers and stuff that are in, that are, that are in between where the anthill is and this breadcrumb. But you're above it. So you can easily see him. Like, you're like, dude, it's right there. Like, aunt, dude, and he's walking all over the place and he can't see it. But now picture him in the dirt, in the grass, complaining. Oh my God, my family is so hungry and I can't feed them. I'm such a loser. I can't believe I don't have a job. I can't believe the economy is so terrible. I just can't get what I need to. I just, I can't believe, you know, I got fired. My boss is such a jerk. My coworkers, you know, I'm better than my coworkers. And he's going on and on and on. And you're above him going, dude, the food's right there. But all he has to do is elevate himself and he could see it. So if he could put little rocket boots on, he could elevate above and be like, oh man, there's, there's food right there. That's what, it, that's what this equates to. So the next time you have a problem, the next time you are sitting with something that is just so like on the tip of your tongue, you're like, man, if I could just figure this out. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out from there because here's what happens. When you elevate yourself when you can change the perspective, when you can bring up your energy, when you can start to feel better, like you're in a problem-solving space, the solutions come easily and naturally. All you have to do is rise above it. All you have to do is rise above it. You don't have to solve the problem from there. So you go inward. Introspection is number one. Introspection is number one on everybody's list. Part of that is meditation. Part of that is awareness, attention, focus, concentration. It is about stop looking outward and start looking inward. The outside of you is just a mere reflection of your energy on the inside. Now, sometimes that pisses people off when I say that. But, you know, I think that is an amazing tool to really start to deepen your awareness on and to really gain that knowledge and understanding fully about what is what does that actually mean. So now I stand back and go, what is happening in my life? I have this problem, I have that problem, I have this. Rate all of that. Rate your relationship, rate your health, rate your money, rate your job. And if you rate, you're like, oh man, everything's like a three and a four. Then what do you need to do? I need to go inward and bring my, my vibration up to a five and a six. And it's going to iron out those problems. I promise you. I promise you. And how do I know? Because I do it. Because I do it every day. Every day I go inward and I check in. Every day I go inward. I meditate. 
I, I start to work with the energy that is more powerful than my physical being. So when I say, hey, you know, how many of you have problems? And you're all like, oh, yeah, a thousand of you. How many of you have been dealing with it for a long time? Every one of you. How many of you know that meditation would help you? Pretty much everyone. And I go, how come you don't do it? Well, that's going to be in the next podcast. As we talk about meditation, we talk about how to begin this process and what it actually means. So if this found you well, please leave a comment. Please leave a review. Please share this with people who you think would benefit from this. Or better yet, share this with people who you think have problems <laughs> because I would love to serve. And I want to thank you for being here and listening to me. I'm really excited to be bringing back my podcast. I took a little break there for a while as I'm trying to revamp and rethink things as I want to be my very, very best for you. And I want to bring my most powerful tools to help you elevate your life because my goal is to impact lives, to change lives, to elevate the planet. And I hope that I'm doing that. I hope that you are listening and I hope that you're going to make this change. In yesterday's podcast, we talked about setting intentions and doing that every single day. I hope you're doing that and I hope it found you well. Please leave a comment. Please leave a review. And if would be so kind, please share this. I would love to continue to make an impact not only on your life, but on everyone else's around you. Take care. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for being an integral part of my podcast community. I hope today's episode found you well and filled you with inspiration towards your transformation. I appreciate you being here with me today and your support means the world to me. And I'm grateful to be on this journey with you. And it is my hope that I can play just a small part in your spiritual transformation. If you've ever felt motivated or indeed found that nugget of inspiration for my podcast, you now have an opportunity to show your appreciation. If you'd like to buy me a coffee or a chai tea as a token of support, you can do so through the link in the podcast show notes. I usually drink chai tea as coffee really winds me up and I could do like a 20 minute episode in two minutes. <laughs> but just know that your support fuels my passion to keep offering you these powerful episodes and encourages me to keep going and growing, but with much love and gratitude. Until next time, you keep going, growing, and looking for those nuggets of inspiration towards your transformation.